We all know how convenient apps like Uber and Lyft have made getting from point A to point B, but how safe are they? Uber recently agreed to pay $28.5 million to settle a class action lawsuit about the company's safety claims, including how they screen potential drivers. Turns out that $1 safe ride fee you've been paying was just marketing. So what are they doing to keep us safe? Both companies use third-party services to background check potential drivers, but unlike most taxis, they don't use fingerprints, which are considered more foolproof. Some law enforcement officials have said background checks without fingerprints are completely worthless. And two California district attorneys are suing Uber in part for misleading customers about their safety practices in order to, quote, induce people to get into a stranger's car. Some argue that Uber and Lyft's background checks go far enough to screen out people with recent criminal history while still offering folks who paid their debt to society a chance at employment. But that said, people can and have slipped through the system just by signing up with a different name and social security number. Money might be the key here. If drivers have to get fingerprinted, then they're one step closer to being counted as employees and not as independent contractors. And if drivers can claim their employees, then companies would have to offer them employee benefits like health insurance unemployment compensation, and workers' comp. Look, getting into a stranger's car has always carried a certain amount of danger, even long before these apps became so popular. But with their increased popularity, lawsuits have been popping up, highlighting the many risks involved, like drunk driving, kidnappings, hit and runs, and sexual assaults. Unfortunately, there's no national law enforcement data that tracks exactly how frequently assaults and car services take place. So there's no way to know if hopping in a Lyft or Uber is any more dangerous than hailing a cab. And it doesn't help that nearly 75% of sexual assaults go unreported. In Austin, for example, police received more than 20 reports of unwanted sexual contact in these vehicles in 2015. Five were reported in taxis. Many of the alleged assaults involved male drivers transporting women who had been drinking. I spoke with Kelly White of Safe Austin, a place that supports victims of sexual assault. She said she and her staff are very concerned with passenger safety in these companies. What our forensic nurses are saying is this, this is an unprecedented pattern that they have seen emerging. On-demand companies provide millions of rides and the vast majority are fine. But it doesn't mean these companies are doing everything they can to ensure passenger safety. Remember that $1 safe ride fee? Well, Uber is now calling it a booking fee. In a statement, it said, it's important to ensure that the language we use to describe safety at Uber is clear and precise. But will clarity mean a safer ride?